All right, folks, welcome to our video here on special characteristics and the link between the DFMEA and characteristics. So one of the most important things I do as a consultant is I work with organizations to determine how to take their important functions from the DFMEA and convert them into characteristics. Now, I use that term very succinctly. The entirety of this video for the full three minutes we're together is about looking at the DFMEA dealing in important functions. Okay, now I use that term very succinctly. The design FMEA deals in functionality, which is then translated to characteristics. Now, you might be a little bit uncomfortable with that concept. Let's take a look at it, right? What I've got here is a very simple cup, right? Nothing special about this cup. But if I was to do the DFMEA around this cup, one of the things that may be a requirement is the requirement to hold a certain volume of liquid. Let's say 18 ounces. So the requirement is for the cup to contain liquid measurable at 18 ounces. This is a functionality. Now let's break that term down. Contain liquid. That is the function, verb and noun. 18 ounces happens to be the requirement, the amount of liquid it has to consume or hold. Now, if I'm the designer, if I understand that that is an important function, what I now have to do as the designer, I have to think about this cup and I have to think about all of the different features that I might put on there. Or instead of features, let's use the term characteristics. So things like the ID of this cup, things like the taper of the cup, things like the wall thickness of the cup will all have a role in making sure that when it is designed, it holds the appropriate amount of liquid. In this case, 18 ounces. So summarizing this up and making it very simple, the DFMEA doesn't directly deal in characteristics. Now, before some of you out there in webinar world say that, well, I have an exception, there are some characteristics that do arrive on the DFMEA. But to keep it simple, I want you to think of the DFMEA as dealing in important functions. And for my designers, every characteristic you put on the print to fulfill that function then becomes important. That is the linkage between special characteristics and the DFMEA. So I hope you learned a little something in this video. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want more from Plexus International, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, check out our blog, and I'll see you in the next one.